protecting. Security and safety always has an, uh, there, there are lapses in there. What exactly are they not getting right and how can we right this wrong? Two things come to mind. It's planning. As Nkrumah said, organization decides everything. If you plan well, you are able to deal with this problem. It is true that you are dealing with human society. Some of these things sometimes, uh, they occur on the blind side of uh, you. But when you are up or on top of your planning, you'll be able to address this thing head on. Two is the issue of education, that you always, as a party, have to educate the followers, the actors within the party, about the need to you know, ensure peace, stability within any democratic space you find yourself and any democratic activity that you, uh, you throw out, you want to ensure that uh, there is total uh, peace mm. and uh, tranquility uh, among people. Yeah. Maybe they, they may come to you to seek your thoughts and opinion and advice, but if even for youth and women's uh, organization position in the party recorded this kind of violence, what then is likely to happen when you're talking about national chairman and general secretary position, which is actually one of the reasons why people believe what happened on Saturday happened? Yeah, it may result in something uh, that you and I don't want, or it may not. But all that you're doing as a group is that you want to plan ahead. And then you by now pick intelligence, you are working around them, and you're making sure that it is the democratic practice that will be carried the day and not any violence at all. Mm. Uh, that is how you plan. You plan by deploying uh, resources, men on the ground, so that anything that is left behind, they'll be able to pick and ensure that the program that you are going to uh, embark upon will be carried through to its logical conclusion. So I think there's a lot of tax uh, on those who are DT bearers within the party to make sure that uh, next week one will come and pass smoothly. What in your estimation is causing this kind of intense interest in the pos uh, positions that are up for grabs, national chairman, general secretary? Uh, this is a party in opposition. Why do you think that they seem to be having this kind of intense interest and competition amongst themselves uh, going into 20? Political positions are always sought for. Remember that you are looking for power, and power uh, is one of the sweetest things that you can have on earth. It is the ability to induce obedience. Mm. Once you are given political power, you have what? The power to do uh, virtually everything. All right, you control resources, you allocate and distribute resources, you reward and punish people, and so forth and so on. So people will move heaven and earth in order to get power. Uh, that aside, it's also uh, it has a certain you know benefit in the area of status. If you hold any public office at the national level within a party, mm. it's a big one, and your status in society is very high. And apart from that, right. it's also uh, tallies with the fact that, look, it comes with what resources. Once you hold certain position and your party is in government, uh, yes, you are going to get some benefits which ordinarily you wouldn't have gotten. So all these things tied together, it tells you why people will move heaven and earth to have power. It is the sweetest thing on earth, apart right. from a few other things that I know of. And, and in concluding this conversation, let's talk about the individuals or some of the names involved in the struggle for these positions. Um, I see Edwin Ketia Johnson, General Secretary going for National Chairman. We have Samuel Fosuampafu who is bent on not allowing Edwin Ketia to get that position. That aside, we have new people who also want to annex that position. All this power play happening, what are your thoughts on it and how will all of this play out by end of Saturday? Oh, obviously, we expect a good show. The competition, obviously, has started a long time. But we expect them as a party to maintain discipline so that there will be peace at the end of the day. There's nothing wrong com contesting for position. Uh, if you see the, the national chairmanship race within the NDC, it started and with all manner of what noise associated with it. That one doesn't want, uh, they should have prevailed upon Mr. Sidon Ketia not to have uh, stood for the election. And not, I don't get it. 
I mean, I don't get it because in politics, uh, once you put yourself up for the business, be prepared for anybody who comes face to face with you. So I will advise Mr. Fusiampo uh, that uh, if he's serious about winning, that argument that oh, they should have prevailed upon him doesn't come in at all. You are either ready or you are not. And mm. fear not. Once you are in the, the, the confines of what, uh, democracy, uh, competition is the, the name of the game. You mm. compete. And there are two alternate, uh, this thing, outcomes. You either win or lose. Mm. And whoever loses, you must accept defeat and abide by the rules of the game. If you think that uh, something went wrong and you are not happy, you can challenge it using the legal processes available to you. Right. And so I will urge them that mm. there's no point fighting each other. At the end of the day, the delegate will decide who will lead the party. And these mm. positions have become so attractive in yeah. the sense that, look, party chairman is a pivot around which the whole party revolves. Mm. So uh, he's one of the, the movers and shakers of the party. So you, 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 you see the euphoria, you see the right. energy directed towards this end. Okay. I believe that it is not something new. But what is new is that mm. uh, we don't want to see any conflict or any violence. It marred the beauty of the party. Mm. It marred their image and all that. And let us remember that some of these things take people away right. from political parties. Once uh, you, 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 are, you work against this, uh, go there, present your, your candidates. Your candidate either wins or loses, but it, you, you, you rally support behind whoever has won and then fight for a common goal. Every political party's main aim is to win power and form the next government. So if Mr. A or B wins and he's going to steer affairs of the party, why mm. not support him and win power? Once you get right. power, uh, now you have the ability to induce obedience within the large Ghanaian community. So, thank you so much for your time as always.